Today's episode is all about UFOs. Welcome back to our Athelia's Vintage and Handmade. I'm Naomi and I'm so glad you've joined me today. If you are a new viewer, I'm so happy to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Since my last video, I have reached the 100 subscriber mark. I'm so excited. I had no idea I was going to hit 100 that fast. It seemed like it took quite a while to make it to that 50 mark and then I just took off to 100. So thank you all so much, my wonderful subscribers. I'm so happy to have you here, 100 of you. So I hope you're really enjoying what you're finding here and we continue to grow this channel. Now, in today's episode, as I mentioned in the beginning, it is going to be all about UFOs. Not those unidentified flying objects in the sky, but those unfinished objects that we as sewers or sewists all have. Why? Why do we all have so many UFOs? I've seen people talk about them all the time, so I know I'm not the only one. We love the fabric and the patterns. We get started on a new project with excitement, and then something happens, and off it goes into that unfinished object pile. Well, I'm here this month to try to tackle at least two, maybe three, of my unfinished objects. The first one is right here over my shoulder. This is a dress, Butterick 7792 vintage pattern. Really cute. <clears throat> I absolutely love the drawing on the envelope when I got it, but, and I loved the fabric. I just, this was a run out when, when Hancock was going out of business, I ran out and this was something that I got very inexpensively. So it was a good muslin, wearable muslin fabric. It has atomic, designs on it which was really cute it's just a basic little quilting cotton I'm going to take it off the dress form here in a minute and you'll you'll see it a little more closely this was not a difficult dress to make at the time though when I put it on I felt it was just too big for me it's a size 44 bust and I was not a 44 bust when I made it I am close to that about now but I've tried it on since I made it three or four years ago and it fits a little bit better. The thing that really bothered me the most when I had tried it on is because it has this drop waist styling, which you can see in the envelope picture. I really love the way it looks on her, but this dress on me was giving me serious 1980s drop waist vibes. I have been there, I have done that, and it is not a good look, and I do not want to do that again. But the thing is, I hadn't fully finished it. It still needs its buttons all the way down. It needs a belt, which will totally change the way it looks. And also, unlike 80s dresses, it is not a drop and full gathered skirt. It's a f straight front and it just has small gathers on each side and it is not gathered in the back either. So it is straight. So it does not, would not really have that look once I finish it. I'm quite certain. Um, so what I need have left to do on this dress is basically just the buttonholes and the buttons. I've already added, I chose purple buttons because it's part of the little print on here they are a purple color so I wanted to bring that out and make it just a little bit more unique instead of just going with a plain white so I've got the buttons up here on the little accent tabs uh, and it calls for 10 buttons so this was these were vintage buttons that I actually had in a large enough quantity um, but I think they they'll look really cute um, and then you have the little accent tabs here and I think the other thing that is going to make this dress 
is going to be a crinoline that is going to give it the fullness at the of the at the bottom that is going to also show how it's puffy on the sides but not the front and the back and that is going to give it its 1950s look instead of that 1980s drop waist style so that is my first one I'll go ahead and pull it off the mannequin now and give you a quick look you see the fabric better um, here it's like it's turquoise with these little atomic just to focus. it's really cute and I bought I think everything they had left so I have more of this fabric I think I have enough to do a blouse and like I said very simple pattern it looks really good in, in cotton and I have the only thing I have left to do like I said is the buttons the buttonholes hem the cuffs and hem the bottom and um, I think that also I th and I think the length too, making it not so long making sure it's short enough will also get rid of that 80s vibe so I'm definitely going to stop judging this and finish it and make it work see how that turns out and I will make sure you see when it's done the next one that I have that I want to make is sort of a UFO sort of not it is not a pattern that I started but it's something that a friend started for herself and she had stopped sewing and she has since passed away but uh, she gave me her sewing things and this is an advanced pattern this one is in a size 20 it's this right here it's very pretty and it looks very simple um, just again it has that same semi gathered let's see right there gathered on each side instead of all the way around and um, nice gather in the front she had this all completely pinned and cut in this gray fabric so the only thing for me to do is to sew it up and uh, so that's my next project for this month those are the two that I have I definitely want to finish in the next couple of weeks and I have one more that I know I would like to get done at least by the end of July so hopefully this one will be beginning of July I can finish it but this is from the Gertie Sews Vintage Casuals book and it is basically it is just the basic circle skirt and I've done it in this cute planet print I the thing I did wrong with this is she has it where you make I think it's about a one inch waistband but I like white waistbands that are just a little bit larger so this about I don't know, you can't tell the black but one inch waistband is what she calls for maybe one and a half but I said oh, okay I'm gonna make it a three inch waistband so that's what I did but when I actually saw the three inch waistband it's just too wide and I, I didn't like it at all so the only thing I have to do is to cut it down so it's maybe about a two inch waistband I think that's what I usually put on my dirndl gathered style skirts and I like that size waistband so I have to just adjust the waistband and sew it down cut off the extra it already has its side zip in so that's all done so it's basically just fixing the waistband and hem and it'll be done and I can have it for a summer skirt it is just again a, a quilting cotton I picked this one up uh, in Hobby Lobby and this one has been in my UFO, UFO pile 
for quite a few years now and it was going to be one of those make it really fast projects which is so funny because it's been languishing here now for years I really did put it together what to this point very quickly maybe within just a day it's not difficult to do and so I need I need to get this finished because it, it I need it. I need it in my wardrobe, but it needs to not be laying around up here. So that is all I have for what I'm about to work on, and I will come back to you in a little bit and show you what I've done. Well, here we are, about three weeks later, I think. It's a little bit longer than what I intended, but here we are, and here she is, all finished. Um, did everything I said I was going to do. I finished the buttons. I hemmed it. I used vintage rayon hem tape on the other side and it turned out great. I styled it the way I said. I wore a black belt with it. I decided on black accessories since it does have the little black lines in it and I didn't want to add any additional color. I don't think it needed any more purple. I love the purple accent buttons on it. Uh, so when I wore it, I wore the crinoline with it and a narrow black patent belt, uh, which exactly gave it the silhouette that it needed. It did not look 80s in any way, shape or form. I wore a black bag and a black hat with it. I will also, I'll insert a photo of me wearing it and I got so many compliments on this dress, so I'm really, really pleased with it. it the fit on it is not 100%. Like I said, it's broad on me in the shoulders and right about here in the underarms um, because it is a 44 and I don't need a 44. Um, in the waistline, it fit fine, but just up top, it's a little bit big. If it were a smaller pattern and I did a full bust adjustment, that it would probably be a better fit. But I'm not concerned. It doesn't, it's not so big that anybody could notice it or anything like that. It's very comfortable to wear. It was very nice. Um, I'm really glad that I finished it and I did not let that 80s fear... Um, stop me from completing this dress so I'm really happy with it uh, and like I said I have leftover fabric so we'll see what else I can do with that as far as the gray dress I actually decided against finishing that right now it's not to like I said it's not technically a UFO of mine but I'm concerned about that one being just a little bit too small and I didn't want to hurry up and finish it and not do a good job on it and then have it not fit for when I wanted to wear it. So I figured I will just try it another time um, when I'm not in a hurry and it's not something that I'm making for a specific event or a day or anything like that. I'll just do it at my leisure. Um, and then I did not work on the skirt, the planet skirt yet. I will, it's still on my plans for, for this month now that it's July. Um, but I'm glad that I finished this when I wanted and I got to wear it. So that is a big plus for me. I actually finished something. And um, the other things that I'm working on right now, these are not UFOs, but I've gone ahead and um, started my Jiffy... Uh, Gertie Jiffy pullover or popover dress that I mentioned in another video and I show the fabrics I will insert the link here for that of um, what I'm using for that and uh, but I will save the details for that for another video I also started working on the swirl from the Gertie Sews Jiffy dress dresses book so I'm really excited I chose one of my vintage fabrics for that I show that in a haul that I'll also insert for you if you want to see that I don't think I have enough of it so I bought an accent fabric to go with it to maybe do facings and possibly pockets but we'll see how that works out and uh, that's about all that I'm working on right now just wanted to check back with you since it's been several weeks and make sure you saw uh, this lady and how she turned out and um, I will have a new video for you hopefully very soon 
If you like this video, please be sure and give me a thumbs up. Every little bit helps. And if you can, please leave a comment below, even if it's a little emoji, just to, so I get a little more activity on my channel and it makes more people be able to see it. If you've already subscribed, thank you so very much. And if you haven't, please subscribe and tick the little bell so you'll get notifications whenever I have a new video up. And I will see you next time. Bye.